Scotland's First Minister has called for a lengthy delay to Brexit to allow time for some sensible ways forward to be found. The UK is currently due to leave the EU on 12 April, but has asked for this to be extended until 30 June. EU leaders must agree unanimously whether to grant the request when they meet next week. Nicola Sturgeon said the short-term extension would merely set up another cliff edge. Prime Minister Theresa May made her extension request in a letter to the AU after her proposed Brexit deal suffered three defeats in the House of Commons in recent weeks. She has proposed that if a deal is approved in time, the UK should be able to leave before European parliamentary elections on 23 May. The BBC's Europe editor Katia Adler has been told by a senior EU source that European Council President Donald Tusk will propose a 12-month flexible extension to Brexit, with the option of cutting it short if the UK Parliament ratifies a deal. Speaking to BBC Scotland, Ems Sturgeon accused Mrs May of yet more short-termism and the setting up potentially of another cliff edge. It came as she published an open letter assuring EU nationals living in Scotland that this is your home, you are welcome here and we want you to stay. The First Minister said, the sensible thing to do in my view, and it seems as if this might be the EU's view as well, is to have a longer extension to allow time for this issue to go back to the people in another referendum rather than continue to have these short-term cliff edges. The first priority, of course, must be to avoid a no-deal exit at the end of next week, but beyond that give some time and space now for some sensible ways forward to be found. M. Sturgeon also said she believed it was now more likely than not that the UK will hold European elections in May, which she predicted would give some protection against a no-deal Brexit.